Well, I got this done today. No small feat. This will help keep uh, the door secure. These brackets, these steel brackets here, were a little over four dollars at the major your local major box store. Uh, the uh, la the lag bolts were let's see they were three eighths in diameter, two and a half inches long. That way it doesn't come out the other side of the um, of the stud. And this is just some old pallet wood I have, but this is oak, so it's pretty stout. Um, here's what Hashimoto's does for you. You see where this one is relative to that one, and that one, and that one? That's your, your brain. So anyway, the other thing I did, see those two screws on each side of the bracket? Same down here. Just to keep it from sliding in case somebody gets real excited and starts bashing on the door, these studs won't, you know, slide one way or the other. They're not quite as thick as a fur 2x4. It's not far from it, but uh, those have to be 4 feet long to bridge that 36 inch door securely. So I feel pretty good about it. Nobody's broken in while I've lived here, but they broke in before I got here. So anyway, that's done today. I'm thrilled. Uh, I used a pilot drill and it was probably, it was well over a quarter, it was probably something like 5 sixteenths and I pre-drilled the holes and uh, you can see the mistakes I made. There's a couple extra holes here, a couple extra holes right there. Um, so I used a drill for the you know the the pilot holes, and then if you use a some kind of a driver, I have new I have um, electric impacts, and they um, you know for driving drywall screws and stuff, and they they turn those three eighths bolts right in there, boom. So anyway, you have to clear things. The top one was more of a challenge because I had a light switch here and a freaking hinge there, so I had to measure three times, and I still had to cut twice. <laughs> Well, drill twice technically, but yeah, so it drops in place. Um, the top one's about shoulder height for a lot of people. If you're banging on your shoulder, if you do a kung fu kick around the doorknob, we got one above and one below. So I believe this will be fine. So it cost me what, 16 bucks, a couple bucks for screws, for lags. So it wasn't even a $20 project. And this was scrap wood. So um, anyway. It's done. Looks okay. Hope I never find out if it works or not, but I'll feel better. Thanks. See you. Bye.